Here's my initial impression of the ZTE Grand X4 smartphone. So the first thing you'll notice to unlock the phone, you actually press the side button. Um, the bottom menu buttons won't actually do anything if you go to unlock it. And I think that's great if you've got your phone in your pants or it's somewhere else that's kind of in a tight place where these buttons can be activated. And I just feel like this button's a little tougher to press accidentally. Now, if you don't have a password protected uh, unlocking system, all you do is press and hold down on the screen for about a second and you're in. By the way, this phone does have fingerprint password protection. So now we're in the phone and you can see the default page is pretty clean. Um, there's not that many apps. Uh, it's pretty minimal. Uh, the main one is your Google search and some Google apps. If you go over to the left, you've got your weather, clock calculator settings, and then over on the right is your sort of media center with your music, video player, and gallery. At the bottom, you've got your phone, contacts, apps, messaging, and camera. And I really like having the camera button down here for quick access because this phone has a great camera and uh, I think they wanted to highlight that. So if we open it up, um, you'll see me using the front camera, but let's, let's go ahead and turn it around. And you can see us here. There's a mic, there's a camera, and it's got a lot of features that you can use to customize and get creative with the shot. So up at the top, you have your settings icon, and that can be used to access and adjust picture size. You can do geotagging, change the storage location. On the video tab, you have access to change video quality. It goes up to 1080p, which is nice. And then if you go over from that, um, you have this really cool feature called the uh, smile capture. So with that enabled, if you smile to the phone, it'll take a picture, which is really cool. And over from that, you have the uh, portrait setting, or they call it the beauty setting. So what this does is as you increase it, it smooths over the skin tone, creating a more consistent look, which is great if you're doing selfies and that sort of stuff. Over from that, you have your uh, self timer for pictures. Three seconds. Boom. You've got three, 10, 20 second options. And then if you flip the camera around, you've got even more options to get creative with customizing how you want to shoot your images. So right now it's an auto, but if you go to manual, you have access to aperture, ISO, exposure, white balance, and focus. And it also has a horizon here, so you can make sure that your pictures are nice and level. If you go over to the right, you've got your mode, so you can do a panorama. You can do multi-exposure, which I assume is HDR. I've never opened it, let's see. Um, You'd like a collage thing. I'll have to check that out more. And then you've got interval shooting, which probably takes pictures in set intervals, which is quite cool. You can do zero seconds up to 60 seconds. That's pretty neat. Okay, so let's go back. So to go back on this phone, you actually press the left button rather than the right menu button, if you're used to other phones where it's the other way around. But the cool thing about the right button is that it actually brings up all the active apps. So you can flip through them easily or you can clear them quickly if you want to save battery. Okay, so let's go to the apps. And as you can see, again, very minimal. Um, there's not really anything here that's unnecessary. And that's what I really like about this phone is that they don't have any bloatware or anything you have to remove. So on this, you have your Google apps. You've got YouTube, uh, Google Chrome, Drive, Gmail, um, camera, pretty much everything that's necessary. If you look at the actual build quality, uh, it's very nice, very sturdy. I don't know how much it weighs, but it feels nice on the hand. It's a larger phone, so if you've got smaller hands, it might be a bit uncomfortable. But my hands are about average, and it feels great um, in my hands. The screen itself goes from really dark to really bright, and that's really great. Um, if you're reading at night or if you're outside and it's bright, you can crank up that screen brightness and see what's going on. The screen itself is very bright and vivid and it's large so that when you're actually watching videos or movies, you can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think this little button here on the back is for the finger capture, but I'm not too sure. I'll sort of figure that out as I get more use out of the phone. It retails for $299 outright from Freedom Mobile and uh, I think it's a really great deal for what you're getting. So that's my initial impressions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.